Good morning. I'm so happy you're here. This is kind of a funny morning, isn't it? Because I think probably most of us were just together a couple of days ago worshiping for Christmas. So this is going to be a little bit of a different service. We are going to be sort of quiet today. So maybe you can get your little cup of coffee all warmed up or maybe get your snuggly blankie and we're gonna have kind of like a quiet little snuggly service today after all the rush and excitement of Christmas so I'm so happy you're here with me and with Sammy and with all your friends online to have a nice quiet worship time this morning so we are gonna start off with a very quiet song, Silent Night. That's as quiet as you can get if you're silent. Um, we are going to let Sammy sing the song. He is still very much in the Christmas mood. Um, in the church, this is still the season of Christmas. So we were just in the season of Advent and now we are in the season of Christmas until Epiphany. Oh, so many big words. So we're still in Christmas, so we're gonna sing Christmas songs still. And Sammy is going to lead us in Silent Night, so please sing along with him. Hello, children. Happy, merry, after Christmas. I just really liked this angel costume, and I, okay, no, that's not true. It's actually glued on, and I don't know how I'm gonna get it off. Christmas season, so it'll work. Won't you join me in singing the most quiet Christmas carol of all, Silent Night?
Thank you, Sammy. You did a very good job and you didn't even change the words this time. I didn't know that you could sing a real song without changing the words. Very nice, very calm of you. All right, well, we are going to, for our special quiet service, we are going to not do the usual liturgy that we do, but we're gonna say a special quiet prayer. So what you can do is snuggle down wherever you're sitting Close your eyes and put your hands on your lap with your palms up like you're getting ready to get a treat. Okay, all right, you guys do that and I'm going to read the prayer and you just pray it along in your heart with me. Be still and know that I am God. This is your word to us, Father God. So we stop here and settle down. Like a bird in a nest, like a cloud in the sky, like a bear in his den for the winter. We take a deep breath, remembering that you gave us air in our lungs. We close our eyes gently, remembering that you keep your eyes on us. We relax our shoulders, knowing you carry all of our burdens on your strong back. We open the soft place in the palm of our hand to the sky like flowers opening to the sun. We stop and remember that we belong to you and we can rest. Amen. Lovely. Did you like that quiet prayer? Yes, it's so fun. Sometimes there's like big, exciting, loud, joyous prayers and sometimes there's little quiet prayers. and. They're both beautiful in different ways. All right, well, good job with that. All right, and the other thing is, is um, some things to look forward to for the new year. We are having our next story celebration on January 24th, and we will be cracking open, hold on, these uh, puppies, these rice bowls. We'll be cracking these guys open, and we will be gathering up all the money and sending it off to children around the world just like you to help fill up their bellies in the new year so you've got about um right like just about a month left to ask your friends and family or maybe do some extra chores around the house gather up your allowance some of y'all have already brought in some money for that so i'm already storing it up in the safe here at church so um we are already on our way to feeding lots of kids so just so much fun you guys are the best all right, well, we are going to do our time of giving. Jake is gonna lead us in our doxology. So with that, we remember that Jesus said it's more fun to give than receive. And you guys know that because you guys have been given diapers and rice bowls. You guys know it's more fun. All right, we'll sing our doxology together. Hey families, let's sing the doxology together. Mr. Jake. 
All right, well, we are going to do our story now. Now, I'm really excited because usually um, we kind of do like a funny or a silly thing for our story, but today, since it's our quiet after Christmas story, we are going to do a special, special type of prayer. Hmm. And for this type of prayer, you need a good imagination, which I know children like yourselves always have. You guys have the best imaginations. That's why I love getting to hang out with you. So you guys will have no problems with this. Now, if you're a grown up watching right now, you are gonna play too, because you used to be a kid too. So you count too. So we're all gonna play this. Now, this type of prayer, has a very fancy name. It is called Visio Divina. Oh, can you say that together with me? Visio Divina. And that means divine, like God, seeing. Okay, so it's using your imagination to see things that God would show you. Now, that might sound a little weird, but Christians have been doing this type of prayer for years and years and years and years and years and years and years for so long. And the Lord has shown the eyes of our hearts beautiful things, um, pictures that help us grow closer to Him. So that's what we're going to do together right now. So we have just gotten through all our Advent and our Christmas celebrations, and this week we are focusing on Jesus as a little boy. He was a little boy, just like you. How old are you? Yep, he was that age too. <laughs> he was all the ages, right? Up to some grown up ages. So um, we're gonna focus on Jesus as a little boy and all your job is, is to get cozy and comfy. Okay, are you cozy and comfy? Good. Now your job is to close your eyes so you can focus on your imagination. Good, all right. And I am going to be asking you some questions. And this is going to be our prayer time. So when I ask you the question, you think of the answer and you just see it in your head like a movie with the eyes of your heart. Okay, so here we go. Imagine yourself as a child. If you're a child right now, just imagine yourself right now. If you're a grown-up, imagine what you used to look like. What is one word that describes you? Brave? Silly? Artistic? What is one word that describes you? Okay. Now imagine your favorite place, maybe your bedroom or the field behind your house, where is your favorite place to go? Now, imagine Jesus as a boy your age, there with you. What does he look like? Is he skinny? Does he have curly hair? What does his smile look like? Now, imagine both of you doing what you like to do best, either now or when you were little. Play soccer, go to the beach, read a book. Imagine you and the boy, Jesus, doing that together. What does Jesus say to you while you play together? What do you say to him? Are you laughing? Now, imagine after your game that you and Jesus are eating your favorite food. What are you enjoying together? While you're eating, what do you want to say to Jesus? 
Do you have something that's been on your mind? Do you have something important to say? Say that to him. And now, what does he say back to you? hear him saying anything back to you, does a Bible verse come to mind right now? What about even just one word that rises up in your heart? Peace, comfort, adventure, affection, joy, one word that the Lord might give to you. All right, now see yourself tucking those words, whatever they were, tuck them in your heart, like in the pocket of your heart so you can keep them for later. All right, now open your eyes. Hmm. What did you think of that? I That is one of my very favorite ways to pray. I've just been learning about it and I love how the Lord uses it to show me things. It's like little movies that um, show his love for me. And you can do that anytime. You don't have to spend as long as we did just now. You can just stop and maybe take a deep breath and say, Lord, could you give me a picture of your love for me right now? Maybe you'll see something from the Bible. Maybe you'll see something surprising. <laughs> but if it, um, if it has the fruit of the Spirit, if it's loving, joyful, peaceful, patient, if it's kind, if it's good, that's how you know and can believe that it is from the Holy Spirit. It's from Jesus himself for you. All right. Well, I hope you liked that quiet service. Um, if you didn't like the quiet service, we'll be back with all of our normal silliness next week. <laughs> but I did want to take a little week to maybe have some little quiet time with you. I bet you did like the quiet. I needed some quiet after Christmas. All right, well, we are going to bless you, kiddos. So snuggle up with your parents, and we will sing our blessing song over you. May the Lord bless you and keep you and make his face shine on you. May the Lord be gracious with the light of his countenance and bring you peace. Amen. All right, kiddos. Well, I love you. I had such a lovely Christmas with you, and I'm so thankful that I get to be your friend and that we get to all be Jesus friends together. So I will see you soon, either in person or back here online. Have a great week, and I will see you next week. Bye.